this uh, was a fight that took place a little bit a while ago, but it's such a good fight, and you get to see Lucia Rica, the heaviest puncher in the all of female boxing in action. I think you're going to like what you see, and we're going to pick up that action with the first round uh, in just a couple of seconds here. So you stick right with us. The referee in this one is Raul Caiz. You're going to enjoy it. Lucia Rica takes on Jane Couch live from the Staples Center here in Los Angeles. Here we go. All right, so we're all set to go here with this big fight. Lucia Riker decked out in those red trunks. She's a big banger. She's got 14 knockouts with 15 victories. Hails from Los Angeles here in California, in the United States of America, but she was born in Holland and Amsterdam. You see right away, she's pinpoint accuracy with those shots. She's got a nice jab, a good right hand, trained by Emmanuel Stewart, and she can move. There's a wild hook right back with the right hand comes Lucia Rika. She's all hopped up. She's 34 years of age. Uh, actually, she's just turned 35, and she wants to fight Christy Martin at a big pay-per-view event, and she just nailed Jane Couch right on the right side of her face with that uh, nice shot. Right back with the left hook to the right side of the face again. Lucia Rika right in front of her. Nothing fancy here. She just wants to outpower Jane Couch. Great story behind Couch. Great success in England. No success in the United States whatsoever. All four of her fights in the USA, she has lost. And the only loss is digging body shot by Lucia. Remember, these are two-minute rounds for the women. The scoring the 10-point must the scoring system here in the state of California. No three knockdown rule. No standing eight count. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round except for the last round of the fight. So that's a situation here in California that's a little bit different. And also in California, uh, in case of an accidental foul, they go to the scorecards after the fourth round in the case of championship fights. And in this fight, they'll go to the scorecards at the start of the fourth round. So that's a little bit different. This is round number one. You see the time remaining inside of about 22 seconds to go in the first round. Riker has landed some power shots. She comes with the uppercut, bangs it back. Now, Couch hangs on, decked out in her black trunks. Riker is an inch shorter, two pounds lighter. She's a year older, but has a five-inch advantage in reach, and she just used it with a crunching right hand right on the chin. You see all the red puffiness are in the face. Nice straight right hand that time, backs her off, and the bell ends round number one. That's a good first round for Lucia Riker, who hasn't been real active as of late. This is Emmanuel right Stewart. Because right you're punching with so much more power than this. Shoot the right hand off the bat and start trying to go to a bat a little bit more. And she's bending over this way, trying to touch, touch, touch something on her bat and bring her right to her bat. Now ring, stop punching. Pal. You look very strong. And your jab is looking good. This is from the end of the round. Look at that straight right hand that put her right back on her heels. And another one right behind it. And there's the bell ending the first round. And that's a nice definitive way to end it. You got to say something for Couch. She gobbled up a right hand that a lot of opponents haven't been able to stand up against. So this girl came here to the United States in shape. She's tired of coming here and going back to the UK losing fights. So... Probably the best fighter that she ever fought was Sumaya Anani, another champion in the women's division, and she's a real good one. Sumaya gave her fits, but uh, uh, all that aside, it was still a, a terrific effort for uh, Couch to be able to hang in there with Sumaya. But look at this, Riker right on top of her. Couch's game, she stands in front of her, tries to move out, but Lucia's got that jab in the face. Look at, she's supremely, superbly confident as she comes with the left hook, right hand misses as she fires the uppercut. You know, the fact that she only fought one time last year and she was off two of the previous years before that, and in 99, she only had a couple of fights and no big opponent. She knocked out Britt Van Berkrick in uh, the third round in Miami in 99 and handled uh, Diane Dutra in Las Vegas in the third round KO. And her last fight in 202 was up in Uncasville where she uh, stopped Carlo Witherspoon in the fourth round in that fight. So she's done what she's been asked to do, but out of action quite a bit. And so if there's a little bit of ring rust and she's off, she certainly looks good against this kid tonight. Couch is not exactly a world beater, but she was a world beater for the sport of women's boxing. She was the first girl sanctioned to fight by the British Boxing Board of Control. 
So she turned boxing history around. She's kind of the Christy Martin of female boxing in the UK. So we give her a lot of credit for that because there is a place and this great sport of boxing for the fine women athletes. And as you can see, the way she's hanging in there with Lucia, just really get nailed with the right hand again, that she is an athlete. Another right hand lands, crashing to the left side of that skull of uh, poor Jane Couch. That's poor uh, Jane Couch. If you're a UK fan and a fan of Jane's, it's great if you're Lucia Reichert. Look at that right cross, nailed her right across the nose that time and spun the head. She's having fits right now with Riker. Riker really looks sharp to me. Hangs the left hand low, bounces her in the belly, then back upstairs with the left hook. She's got Emmanuel Stewart written all over. She's well trained for this fight. And the 35 is the bell ends round number two. That's another good round for Lucia Riker. You're looking at Jane Couch and we'll listen in. Sit back, relax. Pretty nice and deep, nice and easy. Come on. She's nice loading up and you're standing in front of her. Yep. Don't go to her. Let her come to you. Okay? She's just waiting. You know, one, one minute says she's waiting to hit you as you come. Keep your distance. Use your long left arm and start traveling. Right. Don't okay. miss. Yeah, good advice by Tex. Uh, steer clear of this girl. Don't don't mix early. Watch this. This is from the tail end of the round, and watch Lucia Rika. Watch how she really crunches her with a left hook this time. Watch the right hand bang up over the shoulder, back inside with the light left upstairs. Now watch the right hand. She loads it up. Bang right there, right on the ear, and right again across the jaw. Man, this is good stuff. And then right up underneath the heart. Cracked her with that right hand that time. This is excellent boxing. This is what you call real good female boxing. And for all of you guys that don't like the girls fighting, when you see them that are athletes like this, it's good. This is excellent. And I like this sort of stuff. I didn't like it either when I first saw it, but Christy Martin turned me around, and certainly Lucia Rika and the likes of Leila Ali. Uh, these are great women to watch. All right, uh, as the action continues here, round three from the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. I'm Bob Sheridan. Glad that you can be with us watching some excellent female boxing. I want to tell you, Lucia Rika is something to behold if you like female boxing. And you might see Lucia in action either against Layla Ali, and she's really trying to get a fight, a big payday with Christy Martin. Christy trying to put that fight together. He's under contract again to Don King, but uh, if anyone can do it, Don can. And Johnny Yaya McLean is trying to put the fight together between Christie and Layla. So Christie is kind of like the Mike Tyson of female boxing that uh, translates into money. Meanwhile, here in the third round, Lucia just beats up on Jane Couch. Jane, wow, with a hand. You see Lucia just stays outside. Hey, yeah, Couch is game, though. Look at her inside, throwing punches. Don't forget, she's a former two-time women's world champion. And the men that cover boxing in England tell me that Couch won't last more than a couple of rounds with Lucia Riker. Well, here we are in the third round. So is this the knockout round? We'll find out. She's hung in there pretty good, but that's all you would say is she's hanging in there. At times, she shows why she can beat all the journeyman women, the women that really aren't, well, they might be athletes, but they're not fighters. This girl's a good fighter. But uh, Lucia Riker in a class almost by herself. She'd be in the top two or three women that I've ever seen. She has terrific power. She has skills. Don't forget she's 35 and hasn't been real active, and she's still showing a lot of skill here. This is a better round for Couch, but it's not enough to give her the round. But at 35, is Lucia starting to wi uh, wilt a little bit? I don't think so. The bell ends the third round, and there's Lucia Riker. This is Emmanuel Stewart. I don't know if you could hear that. He said, you're heading all the scorecards. You no kidding, Manny. Work your jab a little bit more. Work your jab and try to make her back up. Now. Okay, don't. You know, you ain't got to punch all the time, but go to her and start making her to take that pressure off. She's putting a lot of pressure on her. So this time, start going to her, playing and doing things to make her back up a little bit more. We're going to take that pressure off. Work your jab. Work your jab. Watch Couch coming back now. She's trying to make a fight of this, and she nails her a few times. Nice short, crisp left hand inside, bangs the body. Nice uppercut. This is a nice series for Couch, but right back comes Riker. The only problem is, is that as Couch is, is out boxing in, in this particular flurry, she never catches her really, really flush. But she is catching her. But I don't think she's caught the judge's eye enough. Stay in the corner, stay in the a terrific stay body in the work, too. Back up, back up, back up. Back up. 
All right, here we go. This is round number four. It's scheduled for eight rounds. I've got Lucia Riker ahead on uh, my scorecard all three rounds. Some judges may have given the last round to a couch, but it might be stretching it a little bit. Couch to the right of your screen in the black trunks. Lucia Riker, the uh, number three ranked girl in the women's junior welterweight division. 15 and 0, 14 knockouts. Back in with the right hand right across the jaw again of Jane Couch. Couch has her work cut out, but she's hung in. She's gobbled up the best stuff, and look at the quickness of the hands of Jane Couch as she comes with the uppercut inside, tries to tie her up. And in the last round, I was talking about how Rika has been off quite a bit, and uh, uh, she's only fought, a, as we mentioned, uh, uh, like four times in the last, well, in 1999, she fought twice. She didn't fight at all in 2000 to 2001, and uh, this is her first fight, and 2003 she fought once last year and that was only four rounds so she hasn't had a lot of rounds and you know rust and age and, and whatnot may be a factor because couch appears to be coming on a little bit but does she have the strength i don't know that's what the fight's all about but Riker right now knows that she's in there with a kid that can fight this is no walkover and it goes to show you when a woman holds a any one of these women titles that she's a pretty good fighter and i go back to sumaya anani who's one whale of a fighter who defeated uh, Christy Martin in a, in a real brawl and uh, Couch hung in there pretty good with uh, Sumaya so you know she's better than what the first couple of rounds showed and there's a nice right hand it's a conditioning shows because she walked into that right hand again Riker showing how slick she can be I mean this girl fights like you know I don't want to say she fights like a man because she fights like a good fighter but I mean she's got the body of the shoulders the hands the movement she's fluidity uh, of movement is terrific I mean, there are a lot of coordinations, a lot of male fighters that don't have this slickness. And I'm not knocking uh, females for not having this kind of slickness. And what I'm doing is praising Lucia Riker for being very slick. I think she outboxed Couch, no question in my mind, in that round. And I also thought she won the third round. So I got a shutout so far. Oh, my score is good. Okay, shush, shush, shush. Breathe, 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 Okay, nice, nice and deep. Everyone watching around the world, of course, we're right next to Hollywood, California here, and that's what California is known for. I wish they all could be California girls. Wow. Keep it working, keep it working. Don't let her settle. She's dropping her hand. Bait, then go in with the touch hit. Everything okay, okay guys? Yes, yeah, okay. Well, once you're there... Watch this replay now. It shows, you know, Couch nailing her with some shots, and then watch the way Lucia comes back and hangs in there with her and shows just what a great athlete she is. See that look? See that look? Yeah, that's right, the old stare. Time, let's go. Back up, back up, All business. Back up, let's go. Here we go with round number five. Bob Sheridan here at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. The principal's in there. Lucia Rica, a native of Amsterdam and Holland lived most of her life right here in Los Angeles 15 and 0 14 KOs in the red trunks with a gold trim Jane Couch the pride of Fleetwood England in here with a record of 20 wins four losses eight knockouts and she's showing that she's a pretty good boxer in against perhaps the heaviest puncher in the women's boxing history uh, with all due respect to Jackie Tonawanda who was the I suppose you'd call her the Joe Lewis or Muhammad Ali of female boxing she was a big banger too all right fifth round action continues couch hanging in there pretty good tries the uppercut to no success lucia bounces left steps back to the right up on her toes dances left back to the right again just looking for the opportunity to land a sneaky right hand and she comes with it right there brushes it to the left ear of couch and couch gobble it up remember couch hasn't been down Neither fighter has been down. Neither fighter really has been shaken. Uh, Rika definitely has landed the heavier blows. And I'm giving a lot of credit to Jane Couch for just hanging in here against this big banger. You know, as I take a look at Lucia Riker's record, nobody else has hung in there into the fifth round except for Dora Weber in Ledyard, Connecticut. You're going to go back to 1997, who did get to the sixth round. So, uh, you know, as far as Lucia Riker is concerned, and Jane Couch at uh, age 34 hanging in there pretty good. We talked about uh, Lucia being 35. Jane is 34, so a big difference there. But the big difference is that Jane has been active, and it shows. We're also seeing something that... You know, it's the first time I've seen Jane, but I can tell you one thing. She is a good athlete. 
I wouldn't care what she played. If she played basketball or soccer or whatever she played, she's an athlete. And she's showing that she has good fluidity of motion, too. And look at that cracking right hand that caught her again as the bell sounded to end round number five. So Riker wins that round again, and it is a shutout, but uh, I still... Well, I praise round. this girl. Over I gotta give right. Jane a lot of credit. Hit over right. Come back with your left uppercut right back through the middle after that, okay? You look like you got yourself a win. Now you can settle in a little bit. Looking good, and your jab is beautiful. When you get to work in your jab out here, you're doing that beautiful. When you jab and jab, you pick your jab and then drop it over. But you look beautiful when you're working your jab. This is the tail end of the round. Watch Lucia Riker go to work here. Now this is a nice sequence. Left hook, right hand that almost took her off her feet. And, but she hung in there, that's conditioning. Watch the left hook, and then you see the right hand. Watch the left, boom, and then bang, right there on the jaw. Spinning that head around. But it doesn't shift her. Watch her feet, it catches her good and it lifts her feet, but it doesn't knock her down. Watch this, that's conditioning. Bang, back up, and back up, bang, back up, back up, bang, back right up, there, you see that? She goes back on her heels, but she's all right. All right, here we go, round number six. And the old Colonel Bob Sheridan here. A big, big weekend here, and Los Angeles, California, all kinds of world championship fights, and boy, are we excited to be here. Staples Center, a big, big venue. Lucia Rica decked out in the red trunks. I have her pitching a shutout so far. This is round number six. Lucia comes to the uppercut. Now it looks like she, as Manuel Stewart said, wants to pick up the pace. She caught it with a good right hand, caught it with an uppercut. There's a left hand lead. There's a nice jab, bounces off the chin, followed up by the right hand. Looks like right now she's trying to time the right hand and nail her and try to drop her. She hasn't been able to do it thus far. Nobody's been cut, nobody's been down, and the real powerful shots of Riker haven't been able to drop couch to this point. And that may be frustrating, Riker, but you take a look on her face, and she has a look like a... You ever see a basketball player just after he makes, like, two free throws and then hits a three-pointer? That's kind of the look that Riker has in her face. Supreme confidence right now. Nothing can change that, like a quick right from couch, though. Let's see if couch can land it. Up in the toes, sliding to her left is Riker. She goes out with the left hand and then bounces off. See, the corner of Couch wants her to fight on the outside and then come in, engage, and get out. She tries to do that, but Lucia is very quick on her feet as well. Pause with the left hand this time. Lucia right in front of her. Nothing fancy right now. She's just right in front and wants to load up the right-hand power shot. She'll set it up with the left. Meanwhile, Couch is trying to box, and she's having a pretty good boxing round here. 30 seconds to go, and this is the sixth round. And Lucia is catching it with the power shots, though. The left hook, the right hand again. Couch tries to hang in there, but there's no power. Nice uppercut, and it doesn't drop her. It buckled the knees, but she's in such great physical condition, she's able to gobble it up. Another left hook. She's backing off, nails it with the right hand, closing seconds now of the sixth round. She's taking a lot of punishment here. Her legs are wobbled, her knees are gone, they're like jello, but she's hanging in there. That's conditioning, folks, and that's a real good athlete that's able to withstand the assault that Riker put on her. I mean, I'm trying to build up uh, Jane Couch for her courage, but let me tell you one thing. Lucia Riker looks phenomenal to me today against this girl who was a two-time world nice champ. I'll listen. I'm all right. Shush. Okay, breathe nice and deep. Enjoy your breath, fine. Time. Nice and easy. Just check her out, doctor. I'm sure she's okay. I just want you to look at Come on, Cody. She okay? Yes. Yeah. Right. No, fine. you're not cut. Time in. Okay. Okay, you've really got the draw. Watch this. Watch the power shots that Lucia is able to nail her with. Look at that left hand. Right hand slides over the shoulder. Watch these power shots now coming up right here, right here. Watch, watch, watch. Faints. Watch her set it up. And watch this now. This is a nice tight shot of a great job by a camera, guys. Dave gets our director, gets these shots for us. What a nice job. Oh, look at that. That's the one, the big one inside there. Nice stuff by Lucia. And here it is from overhead. We get camera guys every place. Look at this. Nice stuff. Looping right hand. All right, here we go. Round number seven. Bob Sheridan at the Staples Center. The principal's in there. Lucia Rica in the red trunks with the gold trim and the black trunks. Jane Couch way behind in the scorecard, but not far behind in the hearts of the people here at the Staples Center. She's taking a pounding, but she won't go. She will not get out of there, and she's not going to go down to this point anyway. She hasn't. And Lucia Riker would love to dump her. This is the first girl that she hasn't been able to stop uh, going way back in her career, I'll tell you that. You look at the career record, and you have to go back to, again, Dora Weber back in May 14th of 1997 before anyone's been able to go the distance in a losing effort. Everyone else, she's knocked out. Well, Jane 
coach who's had no success fighting overseas in the United States has lost all four of her fights in the United States, but she's come here to make a statement and she may not win the fight, but she certainly won the hearts of the old, what you call here, the Yankee fight fans. Wow, with a right hand. Look at Couch hanging right in there. This is the next to the last round of this fight. We're in the seventh round with a minute to go. Halfway through this round, and she's still hanging in there. And all she's doing is hanging around like a pest to Lucia Riker right now. And it would be a moral victory for her, kind of like Mia St. John against Christy Martin, just to hang in there. Now look at this! She's trying to win this round! Well, she hasn't won a round yet, but I'll tell you what she lacks in uh, uh, the ability of Lucia Wright because she makes up for a tremendous heart. I like this girl. She's a terrific athlete, and I give her a lot of credit because she just got nailed by two right hands by Lucia Wright. And the face and the pain is grimacing now. With 24 seconds to go, and this is the seventh round, Lucia pounds her, and she still fights back gamely. Lucia buckled her knees in the last round. Her legs seem fairly strong right now. Hello. It's probably like a lead weight in those thighs right now for Jane Couch. He's hanging in there pretty good, though. Inside of six seconds to go in the seventh round of the fight. And she's still around. Lucia, nice job again. And a couple of shots go after the bell, but that's the competitiveness of these two women. It's a hell of a job, Lucia. Damn yeah, good fight. She has round coming up. I'm the bell and stuff. Just okay, stop okay. Boy, is Emmanuel Stewart a cool customer in that corner? Does he praise his totally different style than, let's say, a Teddy Atlas or a Fiery Angelo Dundee, but very effective with this girl. Last round, I want you to shake hands, okay? Keep it clean. Damn good. Look at you. Look very strong. Cross the way now to Jane Couch. Keep jabbing a little bit. Jabbing a little bit. Keep tucked up. Move behind your hands. You're doing really, really well. Come on, Trump. Watch this uppercut you'll see now by Couch. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Boom, right there. Now watch the right hand counter by Riker. Watch this. Watch this now. Watch the Riker right hand here. Uppercut and boom, right there. If that didn't bounce off the shoulder, it probably would have dropped it. This is round eight, the eighth and final round, and Lucia Riker wants to take her out the worst way. Let's see if the 35-year-old banger can do it. She caught her with a pretty good right hand there. It's something she hasn't been able to do in seven-plus rounds, and she wants to drop Couch in the worst way, and Couch doesn't want to go for her. She backs off, but right in front of her, and look at Lucia. She wants to load up a shot. She usually works off the jab, but she goes with a sneaky right hand that time. She wants to land the right hand power shot and she wants to do it definitively so she can drop this girl. She'd be loved to knock her out, but she'd love to right now just drop her once so she can say that her power is still there with the Christy Martin or Leila Ali fight on the horizon and a big payday for Lucia Riker. Lucia certainly has earned the shot now. I mean, if she was a little bit rusty for this fight, she certainly totally outclassed the girl that's been a former two-time world champion. I give a lot of credit to Jane for hanging in there, but it's been no contest. Make no mistake about that. Lucia has just totally outboxed her. This is really showing the class of Lucia Riker. And Christy and Layla, notice has been served. Get the dough up and get it on. It'll be exciting for women's boxing to see two of the three best women in the sport. And I want to throw Smyanani in there, too. She, she deserves a shot at uh, Lucia Riker. Uh, Lucia deserves a shot at her. They're about uh, the four best women fighters that I've ever seen. Loads up the right hand. We're running out of time now. Inside of 26 seconds to go, Lucia keeps throwing punches and right back comes Jane Couch. Again, with all the ability and all the power of Lucia Riker, Jane has hang, hung around throughout. Got hit with a pretty good right hand that time and spun her head right on top of that left cheek. She's going to be one sore young lady tomorrow. Nice fight, real nice fight here. If you don't like women's boxing, then you shouldn't have been watching this because this was a terrific women's fight. This was a terrific prize fight. Forget the, the gender of the fighters. This was a terrific prize fight. That's a good fight. And Lucia Rica is here to stay for at least another year or two until she gets her shot at a big money payday. This is going to be a unanimous decision, no question about it, but we'll wait to make it official. On my scorecard, I scored it a perfect shutout. 80 to 72 with Riker winning every round. There might be one round, I think back in the third round, that uh, Couch did some real nice boxing. Some of the judges may have given that round to her, but 
it was, you know, nice boxing, but not what I call effective boxing because Reiki, you had at no time did you ever think that anything was going to happen for her, perhaps drop couch. It didn't happen that way. Watch this at the very end of the fight, Riker loading up one right hand and say, come on, go, will you go down? Remember Larry Holmes and Tex Cobb? <laughs> it, Larry said, won't you go down? And the answer was, no, she gets nailed. She wouldn't go. Nice shot. Bang, right there, spinning the head. Well, that's a good shot. That's conditioning again. I mentioned that on three or four occasions, but I phrased the conditioning because one thing I like all right, our ring announcer, Ronnie Duncan, standing by. Here's the decision. Go ahead, Ronnie. Take it away, kiddo. We're ready ladies for you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause to both of these young ladies for a fine action. Eight rounds of boxing in the ring. Our judges have made their evaluation, and the scorecard reads 80 to 72 for all three of our judges, Jack Reese, Dave Dinkins, and Fritz Werner. Your winner by unanimous decision and still undefeated, Lucia Riker. All right, so the judges saw it exactly the same way I saw it. They all had it 80-72, so no one was taken in by that third round, which was good by Couch. Again, the story of the fight. Couch gained tough, great condition, came to fight Lucia Riker. Riker couldn't drop her, but she has the Duke. There it goes. She wins a unanimous decision. She goes to 16-0 with 14 KOs. Lucia Riker, the winner over Jane Couch. 22-year-old who is 6-0 as a professional. She is quite an interesting woman. Let's take a look at her. I have bad intentions when I get into the ring. Not everybody does, you know, and so I have a lot of focus because I'm focusing on really breaking somebody off. <laughs> I think that because of the business of boxing and because of the name, I, if I wanted to, I could fight for a title now. You know, that opportunity is there. They can, it, it can be, it can happen if, uh, it, you know, we want it to happen. But I'm not at that point right now where I'm trying to fight for a championship. Um, I'm not trying to uh, get in the ring with girls who have had amateur background and have a lot more experience and ring knowledge than I have because then I'd be at a disadvantage. I'm never going to put myself in that position. Plus, so I've only had six fights. I wouldn't feel right fighting for a title. Um, I want to become the best that I can be so that um, I don't have to rely on just power. I just see myself um, winning the championship in my weight class and, and defending it, and then I'll be finished. You know, that'll be my goal to attain. You know, what happens after boxing is what happens after boxing, but right now I'm boxing and I'm gonna be one of the best at it while I'm here. I think that Jackie Frazier, uh, the more and more she sees my fights, now that they're televised, is gonna change her mind more and more. You know, but then again, some people are willing to get knocked out for money, you know, so you never know, you never know. But we all know what's gonna happen if her and I fight. It's not gonna be pretty. A young lady that uh, speaks her mind and knows what she thinks should happen. Well, there she is getting ready to make her entrance at the Universal Amphitheater.